All right, here we are again with another episode of Watch in Watches. Watch and Watches. All right, um, this is a bonus video number three of two. This is the final cut for the watch box, 21 watch box. Um, some of these have been customized. Some of the old ones were just replaced with ones I just got beat out, ones that I like better. I'm gonna try to keep this video short, not the 21 minute videos, but uh, just try to keep it under 10 minutes. All right, so starting with this one, if you remember in the last watch box, this one was without error in my opinion. Just a beautiful um, timepiece. This was the Invicta Grand Diver. Grand Diver. It's held up marvelously, even though it has an aluminum surface. Um, very few scratches. Honestly, I stopped wearing this one. Um, haven't worn it in a while, but I um, still really enjoy this watch. Just got a compliment on this watch yesterday from inside the watch box. This is an automatic. So auto wind, very smooth second hand. They were telling me that this, this reminds them of a Rolex. And I was telling them, as I said in my last video over almost a year ago, uh, this is better than a Rolex. <laughs> this is, you, you, you can go out and buy a car after you buy this with the change that you have if you were going to use your Rolex money to buy this. But uh, still, monstrous watch. Uh, just a cool timepiece. But like I said, I'm going to keep it rolling on this one and uh, not hold you all too long. Let's see here. Uh, We've got this one. This one was customized. So I put a different brakes on here. If you were to look really, really closely, this body does not match this brace. This brace came off a completely different watch. The original one had two-tone brace. It was one, it was frosted on the outside and polished on the inside, or vice versa. I don't recall. But um that brace was not holding up anymore after I guess however long. These are pretty old time pieces, so I had to replace that one. And uh, this one's holding up perfectly. So this is another, as is all of these watches, another favorite. The second hand is here, and it's a sweeping second hand. Nice and smooth. Day date. Haven't worn that in a while. Pretty much been used in my Hydromax for for quite some time now. We get out of Invicta with this one. There's no alteration. This is a, a near flawless execution for a watch, in my opinion. There was nothing I could add or take away. This is the minute repeater. Maybe dead. No, it's not dead, is it? Yes, it is dead. Anytime you're a citizen, minute repeater either doesn't do the minute repeating or the second hand here skips, that means it's in dire need of a charge. And as you can see, it's skipping. It's not going second by second. It's using like two second jumps, intervals. And that's just to let you all know, or the owner know, that this, char this watch needs to be charged. As a matter of fact, I'll wear that today. This will be my watch that I wear today so it can get charged, natural charge from the sunlight. Second, we have uh, this Belova. That is the extremely smooth Belova. The second, smoothest sweeping second hand on the planet that I'm aware of. <laughs> Sorry, some of these could probably use uh, cleaning. They've been stationed for quite some time. That Belova has a good weight to it. It's worthy of a Invicta watch box. Uh, many watches are not. This is one of my favorites because it has rubies in it. Um, not too many watches have rubies in them. Genuine rubies, genuine diamonds. Uh, just an awesome watch by none other than Invicta. Again, and of course on there somewhere they tell you genuine rubies and genuine diamonds. Certified diamonds. All right running through it this time and you have your wooden watch Let's set that down here got the wooden one 
This is a watch I said shut down another uh, restaurant in another country in a previous video. And it did. It's just a really cool timepiece. If you have an artistic eye, it's almost an automatic purchase. Just a really cool timepiece. Plush leather. Rich maple wood. Uh, just a beautiful piece. That I took on the water. Just uh, it's still tick-tocking. No problem in Madagascar. Okay. Um, this is a watch I call a sleeper watch. Very inexpensive. They don't want much money for this at all. But if you notice, there's a very smooth second hand on this watch. A very large second hand and a very smooth one. The gold accents are in a perfect place. The pins are gold and used to hold up. They're functioning. Nothing is like made here on this watch for just looks. Everything is functioning. You can see through the watch. Just an awesome watch. Gold highlights. It's a sleeper, but it's a, it's a cool watch. Spend too much time trying to get these things back in order. This watch I don't think was in the last one, my last watch box video, but this one made this cut. Um, GV2 watch. One thing I really like about it is this bezel movement for a second hand monitoring minutes, 60 minute chrono feature. You can use it as. Um, it has a completely independent military time. Uh, just a cool watch. I also like how this moves if you hold it down, I think. Uh, well, I won't move it, but you hold that down and uh, this thing starts going backwards. That's pretty cool. Uh, embossed leather strap on that one. And the rounded out for the top section of the box is this tourbillon. Uh, I should have wound that one so you can check it out. Give it a whine so you can see the smoothness of the tourbillon movement. And there you go. If you're like me, kind of like checking out the tourbillon smooth movement and the whole mechanism. It's pretty cool. I kind of put you at peace. All right, but we're not going to waste too much time on that. This is in another video, and you can watch it along alongside another tourbillon that's in this box. And I uh, watch those just tick tock. All right, and then down here we have the uh, Invicta Hybrid um, Master Calendar Sub Aqua. This one was manipulated, customized. I put the gold pins and the gold uh, clasp system here. Closing mechanism. Uh, because it used to be black, I wasn't a fan of it being black. Since it has so many beautiful gold accents throughout the watch, I thought those pins should be gold as well. And it has become one of my favorite watches ever since I put the gold in. So, that worked. I want to make sure I get this in here because on my first and second video, even though this watch was in the box, I completely skipped it. Sorry about that. I think a battery went out, and then when I came back, I forgot to uh, rewind far enough and, and redo the ones that were I was videotaping without a battery. Or the dead battery. <laughs> okay, so this one is the Garfield. Um... Sea Hunter. It's got the blue fans in the back for the submarine. As you can see, it's a limited number seven of 3,000. Stainless steel, extremely heavy watch. Just a beautiful design. Uh, old reminiscing uh, cartoon character. So uh, just a cool piece. Really, really chunky. All metal, all functioning. These are screw down crown, screw down um, function pushers. So very serious watch even though they have a cartoon character on it. This, of course, is the all-time favorite watch in my watch boxes. This is my very first Invicta. I threw this one on the side of a mountain twice just to show you how tough and rough it was in a previous video. Um, and it's still TikToks. This one will go black on all the uh, digital readings if it needs a new battery while the analog continues to function. But I'm pretty sure this battery, this battery is probably dead by now. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just go get a new battery. But I uh, haven't worn that in a minute, and it was dead when I was wearing it. So it wasn't dead, but it was dying when I was wearing it. This is a Grand Data watch. <laughs> this one is the Invicta Zeus Bolt Tria. Day date, um, very clearly red. 
functioning bezel as is 99% of the watches in the watch box. Um, that's the uh, crown and these are function pushers. Very slick design. Watch on the side and another watch on that side. That's why it's called the TRIA. Cabling system, high tension on those cables. Uh, but these watches hold up like a charm. I uh, really do like the uh, brace for that. There's such thing as a Jubilee bracelet. I believe Rolex made famous. And uh, this is one of the only bracelets I like better than a Jubilee bracelet. I have no Jubilee bracelets. Uh, but I do admit that's a nice looking bracelet. Anytime I see someone with a Rolex with that bracelet. Now this one is uh, Man of War. I always liked this design. I knew at some time this would make the watch box collection. Because I always liked the design of the Man of War. Also the Panerai. I like the design but I don't like the prices on the Panerai. Nor do I like the... Um, Second hand movement on the Panerai is not smooth enough for me. This is an automatic, a fraction of the cost of a Panerai. Still a pretty expensive watch by Invictus standards. But um, the second hand on this watch is pretty doggone smooth. Let's see if I can get some juice going in there. If you see, well, this thing's really dead because I used the uh, second hand counter until it was uh see as you can see when it starts up the second hand counter 60 second chrono is also starting up so I, I got all the juice out of this watch but a real smooth sweeping second hand um for the for the chrono as well as at the nine o'clock hour very smooth sweeping second hand so uh pretty much negates in my opinion the need for a panerai uh this one is carbon fiber so each one of those sheets those color changes are carbon. Um, the face is uh, uh, meteor, meteorite face. Uh, the meteorite landed in Africa. Anything African is a plus for me. I'm a big fan of Africa. I go to Africa as often as I can. So that was also a, a real cool addition that the meteorite that is used in that watch comes from Africa. This one is a totally pimped out, customized um, Russian diver. Completely see-through see through that watch that one and the Invicta Tourbillon uh, not the Tourbillon but the Invicta Tria are the two watches that started my Invicta watch box collection collecting because I thought they were such beautiful works of art as you see right there on the swing arm it's a Russian diver and uh, just a mechanical watch mechanical automatic you can wind it or you can swing that arm Everything's visible inside so you can see how it works. Uh, just a beautiful watch. I put the band on. It came with a leather, black leather band. And this band I took off of another watch and put it on this one. Uh, also, it was an Invicta watch. Um, and it worked perfectly. So, got the color scheme hitting perfectly. And uh, this came out really, really nice. This one has not been customized. I thought it was near flawless when I got it. Uh, this is uh, also a Russian diver, but it is a Nautilus. And it opens up the cage, as I showed in the last video, by popping these and popping that. Uh, you can open up the back and see what, uh, get access to the batteries. Some some inner workings you can are visible, but very few. Mainly you can see a glass, uh, see-through glass of the, uh, of the actual uh, battery housing unit. This one has been getting a lot of wear from me. Um, this is the Invicta uh, Hydromax. Very heavy watch, but a cool watch. It takes a lick and it keeps ticking. I really, I guess you could call it a beater. Um, no worries with uh, waterproofing, as you can see. That uh, glow is here. It was supposed to be here. So this thing got beat. It popped off. And I like the way it looks. <laughs> this is chrome, and so is the 12 o'clock, that Hydromax character. So you got chrome there, chrome there, and then the uh, illumination around. So I don't plan to ask. Maybe if I if the battery dies, I'll probably have them take that out and put it back there. But uh, otherwise, I really wasn't that upset when I saw it. I'm like, that actually matches pretty cool. Glad to use chrome underneath, but uh, no issue. This is totally customized just swapped out the wristband 
and Victor Turbion, Subaqua Turbion. Uh, I'd have to wind that up. I do like to let you all see the uh, Turbion movement because uh, for me, the Turbion movement is a relaxing movement. So I'll wind that up for you, get you a chance to see the See that rotation? Pretty smooth rotation. So the uh, Invicta is the genuine Turbion, and this one, uh, Rover and Lakes, is the Turbion that was created after, afterward, where the entire centerpiece moves, and the Invicta. Should have known if Victor would do it the uh, original way. This is the original tourbillon. You can tell the slight differences between the two. But I made a video comparing the two so you can just look at the differences on that. This band I got from another sub aqua and uh, thought it matched perfectly with the Victor uh, tourbillon. A lot more so than the other band that came with it was very inflexible. It did not bend and move with you as you bend. So I wasn't a fan of that one. Got rid of that one and I really liked the, uh, the colors matching. All right, this one is another of the same style watch, but also automatic. That one is a mechanical wind. This one is automatic and wind. Um, I like this watch because it was simplistic. Simplistic, um, and it turned out to be a cool watch. I talked about in the previous video how and you can dive with this watch. Uh, it's got the silicone. I'm not a big fan of the silicone, but this one has the silicone. and very comfortable it's probably as comfortable as it gets because with this design from invicta with that curve so 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 tight the, the distance between here and here being so tight it actually doesn't fit on the wrist it actually sits on top of the wrist so it's actually not a comfortable the most comfortable design that invicta's made probably the least comfortable design invicta's made but um i think the leather straps help with comfort on this watch but as as far as function goes great beautifully functioning watch nice sweeping second hand if you can catch it at the 12 o'clock hour right now um, nice smooth simple watch really like that um, rose gold uh, face on that watch this is a monster 54 millimeter um, abalone matching this uh, crazy explosive colors coming out of the metal functioning bezel it's a cool watch automatic very very big watch this is a grand diver this is one of my favorite low-key professional watches this has got the sapphire face and the sapphire rear automatic just a really high-end watch and Invicta didn't even want a lot for it I've actually seen this watch going up in price as if they didn't realize how nice this watch was when they initially let it go or it was an old watch and uh, I got it when they thought it was old. I have no idea, but the second I saw the price for this, I grabbed it immediately. And uh, sure enough, the price started going up on these. But um, that's a mother of pearl face. Uh, just a beautiful sweeping second hand, Swiss made. Just a beautiful watch. It's got the screw down crown with the red warning when you're not screwed down. That does it, but I want to take one quick second and show you this mother of pearl chocolate. Chocolate mother of pearl face on this watch. So when you're talking mother of pearl, not too many people even know that there is such a thing as chocolate mother of pearl. But look at the fire that shoots off of that chocolate mother of pearl on this uh, automatic day date. You can see it's automatic back there. Just a beautiful watch. Uh, all of the watches in here are favorite watches, but um, this one sits atop the favorites watch box. Uh, I can't really say it's my most favorite watch, but some days it's not even a, a question. I'm just like, this is the best watch possibly made. It's extremely heavy. It's got a, what you would think, a small face compared to some of these other watches, but the weight of it and the chunkiness of it and the, and the metal on metal on metal is just uh, fits right in with these chunky monsters. That does it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, Invicto watch box customized um, segment. Of course, you got the pipe and uh, 
cigar anytime you want to smoke one. Have a great day. And if you have any comments, don't hesitate to share. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscriptions. And I hope you